Hi, um, my name is Ritu and I was the instructor for the course on the forensic investigations at the Genwise residential program. Um, I had a fantastic time at the program. I learned a lot, I laughed a lot and I hope that all of the students felt the same way as well. Um, so a little bit about the course. Uh, we started the first day with talking about observations and perceptions. There were a lot of activities that we did that day, trying to understand how our brain tricks us into seeing things or believing things that aren't actually there. Uh, one of the most frustrating activities of the day was the box activity where students had to figure out who their partner was based on just hearing, feeling, doing experiments with boxes that were covered in duct tape. They couldn't open it up and the objective of that was to help everyone understand that we can't actually see the crime that's been committed. We have to rely on other evidences. We also talked about perceptions and um, how we may see things that are not actually there based on what our expectations are. Uh, then we moved on to a case where Mr. Zellman had been poisoned by one of his friends and students figured out that we can use fingerprint evidence to find out who touched the glass and probably poisoned Mr. Zellman. Uh, we figured out what major patterns are in fingerprints, what the minor patterns are, and based on all of this, uh, we managed to find out that one of the suspect's fingerprints matched a fingerprint on the glass that was uh, used for the poison. Um, a very important thing that we did throughout was we started with facts and we then formal formalized our theories. And the other thing that we made sure to do was find proof beyond reasonable doubt. Uh, without proof beyond reasonable doubt, we weren't really sure of whether uh, someone was guilty or not, or at least could be accused or not. Uh, then we went on to a case where um, someone had eaten the Queen's very expensive cheese. And um, students figured out that there was saliva evidence, and based on that we could extract DNA. So we understood uh, what DNA is, we understood its structure. We figured that if we could study DNA, we'd be able to identify whose DNA was left behind. And we extracted our own DNA from our cheek cells and found out that DNA is actually really hard to see. Um, so we can't really see DNA and examine it. And that really led us to understanding that the structure of DNA probably has something in it that will help us even more. Um, that's when we built DNA keychains and we really understood what DNA is made up of and finally figured out that if we're able to cut DNA fragments into pieces, um, their weights will help us determine with the help of a process called gel electrophoresis uh, whose DNA matches whose. In the middle of all of this, we also solved a mini case where babies in a hospital were mixed up and they had to, we had to match them to their parents based on DNA evidence. We finally did solve the uh, case of who ate the Queen's cheese and uh, it turned out that the maid had done that and students had, all, had figured it out all on their own. Uh, next we moved on to a pretty gory case which made students quite happy because they were quite disappointed with the lack of uh, murder and blood. Um, so in this case um, a woman had been murdered and we had to find out who did it and we figured out that blood evidence can help us do that. Um, we understood the immune response of the body, we understood how the immune response is related to uh, identifying blood types and based on that we figured out who murdered the woman in the case. Uh, in all of this we also discussed COVID, we discussed uh, how our body fights against viruses and how vaccines help in all of this. Um, finally we went on to a real case that is the assassination of uh, JFK who was the president of the US and uh, students had to figure out based on the injuries that we saw um, how many bullets were fired and that was a really really uh, interesting discussion students really pushed themselves I had a lot of fun and hopefully learned a lot about being perseverant being patient and following logic and fact um, what I hope everyone takes away from this course more than the concepts, more than the skills, is the belief that it's easy to learn uh, when you're having fun, it's easy to learn when you're motivated and I hope that you carry that along with you for the rest of your life.